be careful that you're not just too self-critical. So be self-aware enough to know that actually it is a good story. I'm, I'm just being a bit of a jerk to myself. I think we should be self-aware enough to be aware of that. Otherwise you're going around telling crappy stories and that's not good. So a lot of my Australian speakers who are my peers, they come up to me and go, hey, Vin, how, like, how, do you, how do you become a better speaker? How do I become a better storyteller, yeah, essentially? Speakers are just glorified storytellers. And I tell them something that they most don't want to hear. And it's simply live a life that's worth telling. If you keep doing the same thing, if you keep doing things that you've always done, then you have no stories to tell. It's why I invite people about improv. You must try different things. You try an improv class, you've got a story to tell now. You go and you do a magic course at the Magic Castle, you've got a story to tell now. You go and you do a social experiment, you've also got a story to tell now. And it's often we are confined by not living a life that's worth talking about, that often puts us in a position where we have no stories to share.